Hi everyone, welcome to Big Sky Beauty. I'm Julie, and I have created a tag that I would like all the gals that I tag to do this tag with me, or for me rather. Now this one's a little bit different. Instead of answering questions that are in the tag, you are going to just put your own in there. And what I'm calling this tag is, it's the the three T tag or the four T, depending on how you look at it, and it is uh, ten things YouTube taught me. And you say one of the T T T. Anyways, you get the reference. Now, what I think, I think that this would be a good tag to pass around. I've been seeing a lot of them that some of them are good and I like them and I do them, but some of them are kind of goofy. <laughs> I mean, really, we. It seems, I don't know if you pay attention to what they say and what the questions are, they kind of just recirculate, you know. Now, there, I've seen some that were really good that I really liked, like the, um, and I've done it, but I haven't put it up yet, the Hotless Who Hand Tag, I really like that one. It's, you know, centered to re towards gals our age and that kind of thing. Um, the Spring Flame one's another good one. I like that one, too, just because spring's coming on, and who isn't happy about that? But there's been a few that have been kind of... You know, like the 50 random facts about me. Man, that's a lot of, that's putting a lot of stuff out there. And I don't, it's not that I, I think it's a silly tag. I don't. It's just long. <laughs> I've tried doing that one a couple of times and it's like 25, 40 minutes long. And I'm like, no, I ain't going to do that one. So this is just 10 questions. Well, it's, it's not even questions. It's just 10 things that YouTube taught you. And, and I think that, I think that this this tag will open the next person's eyes to, oh, yeah, I never thought about that. You know, instead of learning things about each other, which is a good thing, um, this is just maybe showing, um, showing others things that they might want to be paying attention to, you know, uh, is regarding their time on YouTube. You know what I mean? I just think that it's a good idea, and and I put a lot of thought into these, into my ten. I'll tell you that right now. I put a lot of thought into this tag, actually. You know, when I created the tag, I put, I put a considerable amount of thought into it. I didn't want to copy anybody else's. I didn't want, to, and I hope no, no, there's nothing out there like this. I didn't see any, anyways, that I searched. So. Let me just give you my 10, and then I will leave it up to you gals to do your, you know, the gals that I tag. Hopefully you will do this for me. Um, there are many of you out there that I'm going to, that I'm going to personally name um, down below. I won't name them all here because it'll take too long, but I'll put your names down below. And, and I hope that the, you know, the 40 and above genre will will jump on this and do this for me and with me and with each other. I think that this would be a good tag to learn some, um, you know, to just open our eyes a little bit about how other people might see, you know, what other people have garnered from their time on YouTube. So, with enough said, my 10 things that I've learned on YouTube are, number one is think before you type. <laughs> and, you know, that goes right along with make sure your brain is engaged before putting mouth in gear. Um, it's no different than typing, although I've caught myself doing it many a times. I'll type out, you know, blah, 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 and hit send, and then I go back to read it, and I'm like, oh, gosh, why did I say that? And I'll go, you know, and sometimes I went to delete, and I wasn't able to delete, and so, yeah, that's not good. So, yeah, just like in real life, you know, just like in life, um, you know, think about what you're saying before you type it out. How it's going to affect other people. Um, no one likes a meanie, you know. And although there are way sensitive people on the internet, <laughs> still, just it's just good to think about what you're going to say first, whether you're typing it out or whether it's coming out of your mouth. Number two, there are so many more cheap cosmetics out there that I never knew existed. You know, in all of my years, and I'm 46 years old, I knew that there was Elf, and I mean, you know, I knew of some of the, obviously I knew all the drugstore brands, but so many cosmetic companies online that are quality, good cosmetics, you know, highly pigmented, but cheap, like, um, for instance, City Cosmet um, City Color Cosmetics, um, Sleek, Sleek, I love Sleek so much. 
I was tickled pink when I first got my my first sleek order. I never knew about them until I hit YouTube. And when I first got my first sleek order, I was just tickled pink, you know. And I think I, I hit sleek when they were having the, all the palettes were $9.99, I believe. And so I've got, I got all those palettes because I got them all for 10 bucks a piece. And I was just thrilled. Um, Coastal Scents. You know, well, I knew of Coastal Sense before I came on YouTube, but not before I came on the Internet. And, and just so many, so many really good quality cosmetic companies out there that are only online that I never knew of until YouTube. So that's very cool. Number three, everybody's a critic. Um, no point in even expounding on that. You could be absolutely as close to godly as possible, and there's somebody out there that's going to tell you you should have done it differently. So, everybody's a critic, <laughs> and 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 everyone's a keyboard warrior too. You know? Oh yeah, Billy Badass. Mm, yeah, <laughs> just it's rampant on online. I swear. Number four, I'm not alone in my love of cosmetics and makeup and everything beauty. Most of my life, I have quite literally felt like I was just over in my own little corner playing with my goodies like some kind of fiend because none of my friends were ever interested in it. You know, my mom was the only one that was ever interested in my profession or would ever be happy with me when I'd bring home a bunch of drugstore stuff. Look what I got, mom, you know. Nobody ever cared. Nobody. Nobody still cares. <laughs> Until I came on YouTube, and I feel like I found a whole new world, you know, I mean, literally, I just, it, I'm tickled pink with the, the community, the beauty community that I have discovered on YouTube. I cannot tell you how happy I am. It is open to horizons for me. <laughs> Number five, there is never an excuse to say I don't know. When it comes to, and I did learn this from YouTube, because you, I have put the most obscure, random, bizarro thing in the YouTube search engine, and it has brought up a endless, you know, just an infinite loop of answers, you know, answers to whatever question or comment or phrase that I put in the search engine. So, really, there's no, almost never is an excuse to say, I don't know, because with the advent of the internet and YouTube particularly, you not only can find out within moments, but will usually have a video showing you how, <laughs> or showing you about it. Okay, um, number six, there is such a thing as makeup snobbery. Now, throughout the years of my profession, I, I've certainly had the more, how can I put this? the more elite gals, and a few men, <laughs> that, you know, insisted on um, the best, or they would ask me, do you have, um, you know, Chanel, per se, and I'd be like, oh, yes, honey, don't worry about it, and I didn't, I had to go home and, you know, put in a rush order or something, just so that I would be able to accommodate them, but I always thought of that as, you know, these are people that have a lot of money, they're used to these, you know, but since being on YouTube, I have discovered that, there is definitely a thing as makeup snobbery, and there are so many women out there, and actually it's usually the younger girls that think that what they're spending on their cosmetics or on their beauty regimen period are, no, 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 on their cosmetics are, you know, defines who they are, and those girls are the ones that will be in their beauty room at 85, 90 years old, not looking good with any of that millions and millions of dollars that they have invested, you know, and, and I'll be out in the Caribbean on a boat. <laughs> because I like my elf, and I like my city cosmetics, and, and I like my high end too, but I don't go overboard and, you know, spend myself into looking like I've got a problem with it. You know what I mean? Don't want to offend anybody. I'm not saying it to offend anyone. There's just, y'all know what I'm saying. There's such a thing as makeup snobbery, and as far as I'm concerned, it's just bad behavior. Bad behavior. What a what a, what a McCall saying, Lonesome Dove? Can't tolerate bad behavior in a man. <laughs> okay. Uh, number seven. That I am indeed not such a freak. 
about masking like since I came to YouTube Tammy oh Epi's Beads 59 I did I put in a search of about masking and this was like one of my first encounters on YouTube and it brought up Tammy's page and I'm like oh my gosh I'm just in thrall because here's this woman that's talking about masking like I have always masked I remember seeing the mother on um what was it? Do, 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 uh, one day at a time. One day at a time. Yeah, that, remember that show, One Day at a Time? I remember seeing the mom with the mask on. And I was probably 15, 16. And I remember thinking, oh, what's she doing? And that was, that was what started me. And I have been masking on and off, but prolifically since I turned around 35 or so. You know, I did it in my 20s, but not, not so much... It was just more like a pampering thing, you know, whereas now it's preventative, <laughs> or at least I think it is. I've never, I've never known anybody that even gave a crap about it, and, you know, they'd see me in a mask and they'd think, what the heck, she's such a weirdo. And since I've come to YouTube, I feel like I've met my family. <laughs> I am dead serious. Um, Angie, um, Carol, um, Tammy, Michelle, all you gals that we talk about the masks. I know, Aunt Angie, I know you don't mask a whole lot, but, but you know, the skincare in general, I just, I feel like I've found my niche. <laughs> okay. Number eight. Um, more people know about oil pulling than I ever thought. Um, this, with this condition I have, as you guys all know, I have struggled on and off with thrush. Um, and it's not like what babies get, you know, babies get the, the white patches all in their mouth. I don't get none of the white patches. In fact, you'd never know I had it except for the inside of my mouth. Looks like I've been scalded. Just raw tongue, you know, red and angry looking tongue and the insides of my cheeks. And, of course, it's caused from the lupus causing too much candida production in my body and us oh, just a big mess so I have tried everything I've been on the you know the major medications the diflucan um, eating yogurt and I can't stand yogurt <laughs> now I like the little mixture I like the stuff that Tammy makes with her yogurts but but as a general rule I don't like to eat just you know um, yogurt plain yogurt um, I did too many experiments on it, and we made it in fifth grade, and, and I watched it under the microscope, and I just can't eat yogurt. <laughs> Why I don't feel the same way about cheese, I don't know, but it is what it is. But since I discovered oil pulling, which was many years ago, um, and I'm making DIY videos today, so watch for those on Mondays, but that's why I've got this tub here, I will take a spoon, and I'll just take a a scoop out of it just like an ice cream jug and I'll pop it in my mouth wait for it to dissolve and then I'll hold it in there for 20 minutes swish it around and I'll do that at least once a day usually twice a day and I have not had a problem with the thrush in my mouth since I've been doing that which has been for you know several years now and I've never heard anybody ever talk about it I show it to people in my life and they're like I'm thinking I'm completely insane um, nobody has ever ever even heard of it they think that I'm just pulling it out of my rear end. So I come on YouTube and lo and behold, oh, there are videos galore on oil pulling. And I feel like sending them to everybody I know and saying, see, look, 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 I'm not a freak. Although I kind of am a little bit, but yeah. So yeah, oil pulling. Glad that I found another community of, of oil pullers out there that that know about it and believe in the um, medicinal purposes of it. Okay, number nine. And here I thought my mother was the queen of DIY decor. But since I came to YouTube, I have discovered that you can pretty much make anything DIY with the right, you know, ingenuity. <laughs> Um, Christine over at Pink So Foxy, love her to death. She has got the cutest DIY ideas. And I thought that I was pretty good at my DIY. You know, I've been watching my mom do it her whole life, my whole life. But Christine has got the best ideas. And, of course, if you just browse around on YouTube, you'll see, you know, there's just so much DIY that I just never knew that it was so prolific. And then number 10, YouTube has taught me, and not so much the Internet, but YouTube has taught me to sit up straight and not hunch. And I say that, and this is probably the complete opposite as 
from what it is for most people, you know, but like, for instance, my husband, when he's on his computer, he's like this, you know, looking into the computer. My hair is bugging the crap out of me. I'm sorry I'm fiddling with it. But he's always hunched over like this in front of his, you know, computer. When I first came onto YouTube, when I first discovered YouTube, I would sit in front of it the same way, hunched over. And after just a couple hours, I'd stand up and be like, oh, my back, my spleen, you know. And now I sit up straight so that that doesn't happen. And, of course, that is um, making me... For one thing, it just looks so much better when you've got your back straightened up and, you know, you're straight. And watching YouTube videos has actually taught me to sit up straight so that now I'm doing it all the time instead of not just when I'm in front of YouTube so I don't get a sore back. So that is the tenth thing that YouTube has taught me to sit up straight. <laughs> I bet almost none of you can say that. So that are the, that, those are the ten things YouTube has taught me and I hope that you will all do this tag. I think that it's I think it's a good idea um, If anything we can see somebody else's ten things and say well, yeah I never thought about that, you know, maybe by the end of a few months when this tag has been passed around we can all say the 200 things that YouTube has taught me instead of just the ten things, you know, because we've got everybody else's to go off on reference so I'm going to put everybody I tagged down below, and I really hope that you guys will do this for me. Um, a loyal fan, a fellow aging woman, and um, I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye!